Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Ivo and today I'll be installing some max speeding rod coil lowers on this uh, 5 series E60. I'll be here with me today. So if you stick around long enough, uh, I'll show you how it's done. So first thing we're gonna do is jack the car up and remove the wheel. Now before you start, uh, we are in the winter now and even if you weren't, this would be full of dirt but because we are in the winter and they put salt on the roads, this is all full of salt and, and, and dirt so to make your life easier, just use the pressure washer if you have one or your, or your garden hose and just uh, just uh, clean, clean, all, all, clean all this area. It will make it easy for you to remove all the bolts and nuts and everything uh, if, you, if you have a clean working space to work with. So, nice and clean now. Uh, we're going to be removing this one in here. This one, there's another one in here. We have to remove this ball joint and we're gonna have to remove that side of the lower control arm. Uh, just before you start, spray everything, spray all the nuts and bolts with the uh, WD40. That will, that will help you remove every nut and bolt easily. So this is a uh, a twenty one mil in here. So we have a couple. We have a couple of options to re, to remove this ball joint. You can use a ball joint separator. I have a couple of them in in there. I'm gonna try see if it works. Uh, if it doesn't, and you don't have a ball joint separator, you can you can bring this nut to the top until until. Uh, it's a little bit out of the of the tip of the of the bolt in here of the thread to protect the thread, and then you can hit it in here with the hammer or in here until until uh, this uh, until this becomes free. I have these two styles of ball, ball joint separators. I don't know if they are big enough for this application but like I said if this doesn't work you can only use your your hammer just make sure the nut is, is covering the threads on the top and you can hit it in here like that or you can hit it in here hmm. okay clearly clear, clearly the tool they have at the moment are not big enough for this so I'm gonna use the hammer the only thing you have to do now I have the wheel uh, maxed out like it's turning all the way to the left so this is under under pressure in here. If you just if you just turn the wheel a little bit towards the the center, the, the middle of the car, this will become free. So 
So I just noticed I'm gonna have to remove this plastic in here. I think it's just this uh, eight mil or ten mil or whatever uh, bolt in here. I'm gonna have to remove this plastic in order to remove the bolt that holds the the control arm because there's not, there's not enough space with this plastic in here. Eight mil for the whole bolt that holds the plastic in. Hopefully, well, looks like there's another one in here. So now I'm gonna start removing these three here. The one at the top, you will need a T30 Torx bit that goes in here, like that. And then 15 mil. This one is an 18 mil. This one is a 16 mil. Out. Uh, there's a nut on the other side. Just use a spanner to keep it in place. So now, this is like a clamp that holds the the shock in place. We need to we need to wedge something in here to just open it ever so slightly, so to give enough clearance for you to to slide this off the the shock. You can use like a like a screwdriver or a, a puncher or something like that. Whatever you you have that you can wedge in there. So now get a crowbar or whatever on the bottom of the shock and so there's a long bar or something to just wedge it in here and pull the pull the hub down. That's it. So now we're gonna need a 13 mil to remove the nuts to stay on the on top of the struts. Make sure you hold the strut from the bottom or else it's gonna fall on the floor. This This is one. This is one from the rear of the car. We need one of these first. Okay, here's the front uh, max fitting rocker lowers. Uh, I can tell it comes with a with a spring preload already set from from factory. So we don't need to touch that. Leave it like that. Uh, on this application on the 5 series, we don't need this for anything. We don't need that. Also, the kit also comes with these sleeves that are going here. But uh, on this application, you need to you need to clamp the the coil over in here. Not in here. This is too this is too narrow. This is probably I don't know. Uh, maybe for that. For another car, I don't know, E36 or whatever, but we don't need this for this application. Let's get it out of the way. 
So I don't need this, I'm gonna remove it. Just unscrew this counterclockwise, obviously. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Get this off. Use this. Use the spanners that come with the kit uh, to unscrew this. These locking rings, like that. Screw it like this. Okay. Now you can put the base back on. You see the threads in here? The threads are roughly up until here. Make sure you have the you have the full amount of thread. Which is what? I don't know. A couple inches. Make sure you have the, the full amount of the threads in here. crazy about this because once you have everything back in place you're gonna have to adjust the height of the cat so now it's time to start assembling everything back on right get in there get everything clean install the pillow but in there there's like a, a seat it was machined in there inside of this you're gonna as, as you put the pillow in it, it's gonna stop in there so you know it's all the way in like this See? it doesn't go any more than this and you can start tightening the pillow the pillow now it's in there bracket the holes the all the all the cables ABS uh, sensor your your paddler sensors and whatever and you break holes goes in there like this then you can put the nut back in here Tighten this up to uh, 75 Newton meters. Alright, so now we're going, we're going to install the lower control arm back in place, the sway bar link, and then the, the, the outer tie rod.
this one you want to torque it to 80 80 newtons 80 for some reason okay forget to hold the nut on the other side Not back in there. You need the sixteen mil and the T thirty torque speed in order to get this back in place. So if I link, you want to torque this to 65 newton meters. The tie rod ball joint is in. Get the nut in there. So you want to torque the, this one to 80 newton meters. Right, this one in here, we are torquing it to uh, 50 Newton meters. front of the car is done. I uh, didn't manage to finish everything yesterday. This is a new day now, next morning. It was getting dark, so I just packed up and, and decided to do the rear today. Yeah, I'm gonna crack on with the rear. Uh, it's, it's not much different than the front, but I believe it's much easier. So stay with me and I'll show you how it's done. Same thing as before, lift the car and remove the wheel. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to remove this, uh, this suspension arm. Both sides, there's a nut in here. There's a bolt and nut on the other side. We're gonna have to undo them. Get these cables out of here because you need to remove this. Uh, you need to remove this this arm in order to then unbolt the shock in here on the on the back and then slide it that way and down. So you're gonna need an 18 mil. Do you unscrew that that one in there? <laughs> this one in here, this nut is a. You're gonna need a 21 mil to undo this. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna unscrew the 
the bolt that holds the bottom of the of the shock. It's an 18 mil. Okay, I'm not gonna take it off completely because now I'm, we have to go inside the boot and uh, unscrew the three top bolts that hold the, the, the shock in place. Pop this cover out, like that, you're gonna need a T40 for this. Now we're gonna have to remove this, this plastic clips you have in here. You can use one of these one of these tools if you don't want to ruin the, the clips. Yeah, like this. After you you, you remove the this uh, center bit in here on the boot you can fold this one back like that and just get just get something in here to hold it in place then at the top right in here you have a piece of foam that goes on top of the shock this just remove it and then just fold this in a bit. And you have access to all the to all the three nuts of the top. You can see one, two and three nuts on the back. If they are the same as the front they will be uh, 13 millimeters. I'm just gonna get a spanner for them. 13 millimeters. Get another spanner in here. Yeah. Now you just need to finish removing the, the bolt in here on the bottom. Yeah, that's it. Get this one out and now. We should be able to slide this out. Okay, now we can install uh, <coughs> the rear coil overs in here. Same thing. Get in there. All right, guys. So now you can install the this uh, the, the the bottom bolt on the on the shock. You're gonna have to lift. Uh, as you can see, this is not matching at the moment. So you're gonna have to get your jack under the lower control arm and just lift uh, this hub enough to meet the hole in here, and then you just stick the the bolt from from the back. the bolt back in place so the torque spec for this one is 75 newton meters I get the, the suspension arm back on <coughs> the torque for this one here is 80 newton meters hey, hey. all right the torque the torque setting for this one in here is 75 newton meters all right 
the torque setting for for these nuts is uh, 35 newton meters now it's just a matter of putting everything back in place <laughs> your spongy covering here <coughs> Put the side cover first, and then the and then the floorboard. And that's it. So, just I'm gonna quickly show you how to adjust the coil over. Check the okay. free tension, the free load is okay now. As long as I can, I cannot move the, the string by hand. It's, it's fine. Oh, I can lock these two rings together. This one and the bottom one. That's the opposite way, actually. This one has to go up, and this one has to go down. So I can lock them. I can lock them in place. Okay. So I lock these two rings together so they don't move. And now I put eight and a half uh, centimeters on the other side from here, from from this face to that face in here. Just need to go down one mil. And the way you do that, just unlock unlock this. Color in here, like that. Nope. I want to increase uh, the size of the thread in here, so we want to um, unthread this part of the coil from the base. So you want to you want to turn it uh, counterclockwise. And you can because and, and you can use these two uh, these two locking rings in here because they are tied tied together. You can use them to turn the whole the whole thing like that. Counterclockwise. Now here measure again and then go from there okay this is now 8.5 centimeters that's what I want the only thing I have to do is to lock this against the the base like that that's it they're tight they're not gonna be they're not gonna go anywhere just make sure you keep this lubricated and try to try to clean it every time you wash the car or every couple of weeks one month or whatever because if this gets full of salt and dirt you're gonna struggle to move these these colors in the in the future that's it
Yeah, that's it guys. Car is ready. Uh, I adjusted the height to the to the owner's requirements. Yeah, job's done. Uh, don't forget if you like the video, leave a, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't lose more content in the future. Thank you guys. See you next time.